welcome to the Marriage Can Win show. I'm your host, with, along with my co-host, <laughs> Eric and Dr. Sakisha Hollick, and we are always the relationship experts. Here at Marriage Can Win, we educate, we empower, and we encourage couples to embrace that marriage can win, especially when you focus on three key areas, improving your communication skills, developing sound money management skills so you're not living paycheck to paycheck and enhancing your level of intimacy so your marriage can win. And we would again like to welcome you to the broadcast and we ask for you and all of your family members to join the show and share us out. Start a watch party. Now, we love your support. and You've been supporting us so much. We ask that if you're not already following us on Instagram, go ahead and go out on Instagram and follow us, and we will follow you back. Also, join us and subscribe to The Marriage Can Win Show on YouTube and on our podcast. Go to www.marriagecanwinpodcast.com. Don't forget, as you're entering the show, make sure you tell us what city and state that you're listening from. We're super excited about just knowing where all of our, our listeners and supporters are coming from. Now tonight, I'm sure that you guys have seen the flyer and the advertisement. We are, have a phenomenal guest and I am so ecstatic that we have her here with us tonight. We have one of the country's foremost authorities on media and marketing in the country today. Angela Tussie is a best-selling author She's an award-winning radio host, and she travels the globe as a professional speaker, sharing her marketing wisdom. Now, her ideas will transform the way you think about media and marketing. She uses some of the best ideas she's learned from hosting over 2,000 radio broadcasts and interviewing over 5,000 guests, such as Sharon Lecter, Michael Gerber, Seth Godin, Jackie Collins, Bill Walsh, and many of the sharks. So Angela openly shares how to multiply and monetize your exposure using media marketing. Let me say that again. She shares how to multiply and monetize your exposure using media market. So everyone, let's welcome to the show, Angela Tussie. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hi, how are you? It, it's, how are you? It's Angel Tessie. So, yeah, no A on the end. Sorry, right, I'm sorry, Angel. I don't know what's going on. I need my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. First of all, thank you so much for being with us on the show. I mean, we're going to be diving into a nice, a deep topic tonight. Marriage, media, and making an impact. And that is so crucial during this time because there's so much going on in the media right now. So we want to be able to talk about how we can strategically use media to, to make an impact. <laughs> well, you, you came to the right person, that's for sure, right? If you're out there making an impact, we want to make sure that the media knows it. And if you're, if you're interacting with the media, it will absolutely help your impact be accelerated. So we are we're in we're in the right place. All right. Great. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, how long you've been married, kids, and business? Tell us a little bit about yourself. All all the juicy stuff, right? Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> I am. Um, yeah, I am married. I've been married for I think my husband and I we just celebrated our 27th wedding anniversary during oh. during this pandemic. So wow. we didn't go. To Mexico like we were hoping to go to celebrate our anniversary um, but we have we've been married for 27 years we've got three children 26 year old twin daughters who live in Orlando Florida they both work for for Disney and our 22 year old son who just graduated from the Disney College program just in January and we thought he was gonna go back and work full-time for Disney but of course they stopped hiring and bringing anybody on right about the time that he was getting ready to go back. So he's been visiting with his sisters. He's flying home right now. Oh. And so my husband and I have been empty nesters a little bit while he's been gone. But um, but yeah, so we've got the three of us and married for 27 years here in Denver, Colorado. Wow, well, congratulations. That is awesome. That is a great, great milestone. Yes. Right. And, and, and many of them have been happy, right? 
I like that. I'm like married. And neither of them have been happy. But you know what? That's that's more years we're happy than have not been. So that's a good thing. The odds are in our favor. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. So that's a good thing because a lot of times I think it's really, really imperative that people see that there are couples out there that, you know, they're managing their businesses, they're entrepreneurs, they're parents, and they're enjoying marriage. You know, a lot of times you may see that, you know, they're accomplished in certain areas, but then when it comes to marriage, it it may not be as enticing, I guess, <laughs> for lack well, of a better word. I never, you know, I never claim to be the poster child for for marriage, right? We have, you know, we're, we're real people, but we are entrepreneurs. Both my husband and I have each ran our own companies for Oh, most of most of our marriage. He, um, in fact, he just sold his company last year. He had a fire alarm and security company business that he sold. Um, I've all you know been an entrepreneur. So we've each we each run our own businesses. We've never been in business together um, because I don't know. I'm like I just I just don't know that our marriage can handle that. (laughs) But we have been fortunate, right? We've been home you know, for now, almost three months. And it turns out we do actually get along. Um, Not knowing for sure what 24 seven, you know, being together in this kind of environment all day long, every day, how how our relationship would would withstand that. But it turns out we get along pretty well. So we've been fortunate. Well, you know, that is really excellent. Um, We can talk with many couples on on our show and it's always um, something that you have to really look at. You have to look at, you know, two individuals who maybe work for corporate America, maybe one is working for corporate America and an entrepreneur. And then you have two entrepreneurs that work for the same company. And then you have two entrepreneurs with separate companies. And so I always tell everybody this, this pandemic is really a test um, to really find the characteristic of the relationships. Because now you're on your home and you spend more time than ever together. And so now really it tests and shows the true characteristics of, you know, your relationship. And so, you know, hey, thumbs up. It looks like everything is good. <laughs> I, I was nervous about that because I can sometimes get a little antsy. You know, we've, we've been together too much. Like I just, I need a break. I need my space. Like I, I know that about myself. But it's been, yeah, somehow we've worked out, we've worked it through. We've kept our own space when we needed to. I have, I have been working media. People have asked me if it has shifted, if, if the pandemic has shifted media exposure and the ability to get media coverage. And the answer is yes, it has absolutely changed. It has skyrocketed. It has gone up and elevated exponentially. So we turned, we turned this area like into my broadcast studio. And I mostly, I live in this chair. This chair is a permanent butt print of mine because I never get out of it. I let it like recover and rest overnight. Um, but, but we have, you know, we have kind of discovered just some of those little nuances of what it's really like in those early years when you couldn't avoid, right? You wanted to be together all the time, right? When you're dating and couldn't wait to see them. And now they're, they're always there. They're always there, but it's been all right. <laughs> So, Mike, I have a question for you. With working with media, how is it that, what was your aha moment that helped you recognize that, oh, you know, media is my calling. This is what I'm called to do. Was there a specific moment? Is it something you always knew or how did that come about? That is a that is a great question. I, um, in high school, in order to graduate, you had to take a public speaking course. It was one of the graduation requirements. And I almost did not graduate from high school because I would have failed my public speaking class had my teacher not taken pity on me and giving me a passing D. Because wow. I was terrified of speaking in public, uh, speaking in front of an audience, speaking in front of a crowd. And one of the exercises that we had to do during that high school class was go into our radio broadcast studio that we had there in the high school and mm-hmm. read a copy. All you had to do was read from the page, right? Just read from the page into a microphone. Not difficult. I could barely muster it out. My high school teacher told me, Angel, you will never have a career in radio broadcasting. Fine with me. 
and I was not like I was not in that space at all. But t- fast forward 20 years later, mm-hmm. and I was doing a podcast um, for work. My uh, my business partner and I were doing a podcast, and our our podcast got discovered by our local radio station. Mm-hmm. And so we were discovered, right? That dream of getting discovered. Sure. My very first day in the radio studio, we had a 20 or a 30. I mean, it was a 30 minute show, but it was 18 minutes after you take out all the commercials. All the commercials. I took my headphones off that first day in the radio studio and I said, this is what I want to do. I loved it. I, you know, you're in a studio. It's just you. It's windowless. There's nobody staring at you. You've got your notes. You go to commercial break. It was I, I, from that moment on, set my head down and said, I want to be one of the top radio broadcasters in America. And so for 10 years, we became, me and my co-host, we um, we were top morning radio show, top morning talk show team, award winning. We were nationally syndicated. And by the time I retired two years ago, I'd had a 10 year career in broadcasting. I was in the top 1% of my industry because I was hosting two back to back. I was hosting four hours of talk radio every day. I had a small business talk show and then in a six minute commercial break, we switched studios and I was hosting a two hour Christian talk, a Christian talk show. So not very many radio hosts, let alone women, only a dozen women host over four hours of talk radio every day. And so that was my entry into it was just that we our podcast got discovered and I fell in love with it on day one. Wow. wow that's amazing. Yeah, it is. That's amazing. And isn't it amazing how something that it may start at the beginning, someone can say, you know, you'll never do this. And you're like, yeah, okay. And it winds up being one of the very things that you excel at, that you just right. really kill it. And you kind of want to tell them, see, you should, you know, you should have. You shouldn't have said that. <laughs> it's like Michael Jackson dropped from his high school basketball team. And I mean, when you think about all these different leaders um, that have accomplished so much and they start to tell their stories. Yeah. That there's that one person who just doesn't, who just doesn't see it inside of you. And we allow that one person to dictate our value, which, um, you know, is very sad, but it's just the honest truth, right? Like everybody can tell us how much they love us. And that one person like says that one thing to us and it just, it just eats at us. Like we let it uh, like overwhelm all the good messages. Yeah. It's kind of like us. <clears throat> we both come from a background of divorce. And I mean, literally my parents, they wanted to do it three times. <laughs> my father is 85 now. He said, I'm not getting married anymore. So. <laughs> And then here we are, we're getting ready to come up on 22 years of marriage. And we've been together like almost for 26, 27 years now. Yeah. And so, and now, and now we, you know, we've been helping couples for like almost 14 years and been in the business uh, for four years. We're we're coming up on our fourth book with bestsellers. And so it was like, you know, who would have thought, who would have thought that, okay, you guys are now relationship coach. You help in three key areas, communication, finance, and intimacy. And so. Those are the top three Bs, the biggies, right? But exactly. Because, probably because, right, you can't know, you can't true know true joy if you haven't experienced sadness, right? You can't right. recognize, like, if you're going to help a couple get through some stuff, if you guys hadn't gone through some stuff too. Right. And, and so yes. it does. It, it, you know, all of our, if there's opportunity comes from adversity if, if right. you for it. Well, you know, we started out out of our, what we call the defining moment in our relationship, whether we were going to be divorced or we were going to continue. And out of that moment came our first book called Marriage Can Win. And Marriage Can Win is where we put and were transparent about how we overcame what we call the great divide. Like I said, the communication, finance, and it's sex and intimacy. And so we put all of our um, strategies and keys and how we overcame, you know, that great divide into this book. And so that's how it birthed. I mean, it was out of a defining moment, like you said. Yeah. Well, and I love that picture of the two of you. That is just, oh, it's, like, it's like sexy and romantic and like everything uh, that a couple would want to be. It's a beautiful <laughs> photograph. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is our book at the corner. <laughs> our first book. Yeah. 
Oh, I was yeah. talking about the one with the red dress. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. That is sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Now you would you are also an author, you're a speaker, you're a media publicity specialist. How do you manage it all? <laughs> Caffeine. <laughs> all day long. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? It is it is a blessing. I have that blessing and a curse of of being very organized. Okay. Um, scheduling everything. I mean I schedule my downtime. I have to schedule my downtime. I have to schedule my my personal care time I put it on I put it on the calendar and yeah. so I've always been a big list maker and a and a big scheduler and that kind of keeps me keeps me going we my husband and I get together every month for we call it our financial summit mm -hmm. where we kind of get a review of what's going on right where are we going what have we spent our money on what are our goals um, kind of mapping out the schedule, the travel schedule, and where where I'm going to be. He travels with me when I travel, and I think that's been a huge. Um, I mean, it's why he sold his business is so he could travel with me as a speaker. Which I think if I knew somebody was waiting for me at home, I would feel you know weird and guilty about being gone. And, and if there's many times that I'll be out and I'll have another opportunity to to stay out. Well, because he's with me, we can say yes to those opportunities. You know, I'm in oh, yes. Chicago, but now they want me in New York. Oh, now they had somebody cancel in Atlanta and they need somebody to fill in. And because we didn't have any babies at home, we don't have pets at home. And Jay was with me. I could say yes to, to all those opportunities. That's the positive side, really. When you both have your own business and you can control your schedule, and you know times like that when you go out on an engagement or um, <clears throat> you have a show or something, and then you both can go together. You know, you can enjoy. You know, after the show, you can enjoy the evening out on the town. Like if you go to Chicago, you can go out to Michael Jordan's restaurant, <laughs> or you know, go down to you know downtown. It just, it's, it's, it's just awesome. I love when we do that. You know, <laughs> we were in D.C. We were on business, and the next day we were downtown. You know, oh, yeah. in front of the All yeah, everywhere. and then Houston. We were there. We got a chance to visit. But it's so it's it's those are the pros. <laughs> Right. And yeah, I mean, there's obviously there's, you know, the, the dealing with traveling and commuting and, and all of that, but you take it in stride with, and, um, and it, and it works out, right? I mean, I've, I've often doing coaching calls in airport terminals with the, oh. the speaker, you know, going on and, um, you know, we're racing around town. I've got a call, I've got a meeting, I've got to get somewhere. So the schedule can be pretty tight, but, um, but, but we make it work, right? And if not, we just beg for grace. <laughs> but that's a good thing. That means you just have to be intentional because yes. you want to make sure you have that time with your spouse and then you have that time to make sure that you take care of your business. So I think that's really, really important. So when you're you're thinking along those lines, um, can you can kind of share with us what is your why for continuously <laughs> going? Because there could be those moments that any entrepreneurs have like, oh my gosh, there's a lot going on. What's your why for just continuing to show up, just continuing to go despite any minor hiccups that you may experience? Well, I know for sure, I, I am on a mission. I am on a God-breathed mis mission to create what we call Marketplace Apostles. Giving small business owners a voice in the media means that they have a voice in their community and to make that even bigger impact. Um, and so as as I was given the, the pink slip, right? I, they dropped my programs from from the radio. I had, I had a choice to make. Do I stay in radio or do I go another direction? And, you know, when one door closes, another opens. And I was in that moment, just realized I have a gift. I have something inside of me that, that attracts people, that brings people together, that encourages them and lifts them up and inspires them to share their story on a bigger platform. And I could stay in my lane, do exactly what I do every day. It fuels me, right? It energizes me to teach this to others. So that keeps me going, seeing their results, right? And the impact and it actually working 
you know, gives you even more, right? Where does fear, like um, action trumps fear every day. So seeing the results from my clients and get helping them get their message out just lights me up. And then, you know, that Holy Spirit just telling me to keep going is, is a good thing. So it's a nice little trifecta. Oh yeah. Now, you know, you said two things. One, um, you can tell the excitement you get. And so this is not work. This is like play or your passion. You know, when you're doing something that you actually enjoy doing and get paid from it and you help others. Oh, that's just awesome. And two, Holy Spirit. Wow. That is the center and the key of your life. And I mean, for us, it's the same thing. The Holy Spirit is the center and the key of our relationship, our marriage, our business. Um, and, you know, that's just awesome. I love that. You yeah. know what really resonated with me when she said marketplace of possible? Oh, and I, I love like, that. Oh, my yes. God. I have to write that down. That's phenomenal. That just resonated with me right there because you are imparting it to those that you're connected with yes. for them to continue to go out and do what they're called to do. So for me, that's just, that's phenomenal right there. It's just, you, know, you ever know, you're just in the midst of an interview and there's something they say that just, oh, hits you right here. And it's yes. like, oh my God, I love it. I love it. <laughs> and you're taking it outside the four walls of the traditional church, you yes. know? And, and you don't have to be, you know, like, Oh, you, do, you know, scripture, this is just the way you live your life. You can tell the, the shining from you, you know, when you bring a smile to someone and especially when you're helping them and you see them actually succeed. It, I know as, as, as you feel, it, it gives us joy yeah. to see someone, you know, prospering. And so uh, it's just, it's really, we love connecting with what we call kingdom minded individuals and couples. Well, there was you know, no coincidence that our paths crossed, right? <laughs> so what's one key lesson that you've learned thus far that will inspire women that are, are in media to just to keep going, to not give up? Because sometimes we get uh, discouraged. We feel like um, we're maybe not treated fairly, not treated equally. What is that lesson that you have that's going to inspire people just to keep going? Because, I mean, just listening to how you actually uh, got involved into media, to yes. me, that's inspirational. It's like, OK, you know, any day now is my moment. It's, it's my opportunity to, to launch into the next phase of my life. But what is that one key lesson that you could share with our listeners? Well, I'm always telling my clients that done is better than perfect. Right? It doesn't have to all be figured out, buttoned up, right? You don't have to have everything all figured out and perfect before you get started. And when you have faith and you take action, the world shows up to support you, to guide you, and to create a miracle. So take action. Right? You have everything you need, every resource, every every trial, everything that you've been through, your experience, your journey has created the PhD to, you are the, the, the authority in your life. You have everything that you need. You know, you see the phrase, you are enough. And I, and somebody came on and said, you know, Angel, you're holding people back, telling them they are enough. I'm like, no, like you have enough to go forward. It's this not enough, it's like, this is my stopping point. Like what I have is enough to take that next step and go forward. And when I take action, in that blind leap, sometimes the biggest exercise, right? The biggest uh, workout we can take, right? Is that leap of faith. And when we take that action, resources show up, people show up, opportunities that are just right there, just waiting for us. And the only one, there's only one way, there's only one absolute surefire way to guarantee that it won't work. And that is when you quit and you give up. So don't quit. Just baby steps go forward a little bit every day. It doesn't have to be perfect, but even baby steps are our movement forward. Yeah. It makes me think about a quote when we were um, doing a presentation and there says that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Right. But those shots that you do take, they're going to land at some point in time. So you have to just keep going, keep moving, keep striving to, to get to get to your next destination or your next step or you know during your process and i think that's really really important it's really really key right you've probably seen the the little memes where it shows um like the the journey you know, to success right it's a it's a mountain right and you think you're just gonna go up but right it's up and it's backwards and it's upside down and it's and it's you know all this stuff that actually 
takes place. I think one of the the biggest places for inspiration is reading like the biographies of people that have succeeded because you're going to hear all of their bumps, right? All of their scuffles, all of their challenges. Right? Some of the different TV shows of biographies of, su of successful people and you see like what they pushed through and what they went through to get there. Not one of us is just an add water instant success. Right? It takes a tribe, it takes the journey, it takes falling down, right? Fall down, what, seven times, but get up at eight. Yes. Keep out, surround yourself with people that will push you and hold you accountable and be supportive because there's greatness in there. And of course, the enemy, right? Who's going to come like lying to us during all of that? And, and he knows our Achilles heel and he knows our weakness and he's going to use it against us. So who we hang out with, the books we read, the music we listen to, the movies we watch matters so much, especially when we've got those little voices going on in, uh, inside of our heads. But when you're ready to make that big impact and you're ready to do something great that's going to be an impact on others, it does feel like that target on your back just gets a little bit bigger and bigger every day. That's not, we weren't meant to play small. We weren't meant to, to stay behind, right, in the wings and, right, like, go, go forth and shine. Well, you know, speaking of, of books, I know you mentioned books. Mm -hmm. um, I see that you're all, uh, really multiple authors. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell us a little bit about your book um, and share it with our listeners. Well, the number one way to create media exposure, to get booked on TV, radio, to get invited to speak on stages is to become a published author. So I have published 11 books over the last 10 years, and I teach a 90-day process for how to get your book published. I'm not in the publishing business. I'm all about media and exposure and publicity. And so being a published author, like you've got intellectual property, so you're going to be the expert on it. In fact, I wrote the book on it. So I wrote the book called ABCs of Exposure. It's an alphabetical guide to publishing, to media and speaking in order to create more exposure and monetize that exposure. Wow, I like that, the ABCs of Exposure. So for our listeners out there, uh, where could they get a copy of that book? You can, you can get it on Amazon. ABCs okay. of Exposure by Angel Tessie. It's 99 cents for the Kindle. Um, you can even order the paperback. I know Amazon is, I've ordered a couple books on Amazon recently and they are shipping out books. So if you're a paperback girl or guy, right? I think I have a copy of it. Oh, where did I put it? Well, it's gone. Huh, well, oh, it's under my calculator. I must have done oh. something really good with it, right? Oh, I like yeah, so that. it's called ABCs of Exposure. Right? An alphabetical guide to to um, media publicity and publishing, okay. and it's it's a fun little book. I mean, it's a hundred pages. It's a quick airplane read, or you know, a stay at home read now that we're not on in an airplane. <laughs> but everything that you need to know about media pitches, pitching to the media, crafting your media story, putting together a press release. It's all it's all in here. I like that. That's good stuff. Yeah. That's good stuff. So I hope our listeners are, are watching. Go to Amazon, get your copy of that. <laughs> Make sure you, you get connected with her. So you, you've you done so much and you've accomplished so much. What do you feel is like your greatest accomplishment thus far? Oh, my babies. Hey, you know, <laughs> I think that you know, when, I first, when I first went back to work, you know, I just you have that mom guilt, right? You know, so should I be working? Should I be at home? Because anytime I was at work, I felt like I should be home. And when I was home, I felt like there was work that could be done. But I realized that when I pursued my passion, when I, you know, they could see my challenges, they could see the struggles, they could see the wins, <laughs> that, that it made me a better mom. And now that they're adults and they're going through life, right? And they come back and say, mom, I remember watching you. I remember when this happened to you. I remember when you had this opportunity. And and so, yeah, I've just been really blessed with some three, three very beautiful children who are now adults. My daughters are 26 twins. And like I said, and Michael is 22. And, and so watching them now grow up and make some, you know, key and pivotal decisions in their life is, is very, very rewarding. It's 
it was worth all the temper tantrums and the calls from the school and the not doing homework and the not doing their chores, right? And oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so tell me, um, because I mean we're getting close to being as empty nesters ourselves. Oh, don't remind me. Tell me, matter. how did you make that transition to the being an empty nester? Oh, you know, and it's so funny because, I, you know, I'm so attached to my kids. I see them. We still FaceTime several times a week, right? We do virtual church together. We, we are very close as a family. So we still vacation together. We still do a lot of stuff together. Um, but I think for me, that's when I started traveling was after they left. And, you know, so I'm not here just walking the empty halls and seeing that their bedroom isn't being used and yeah. right, all those depressing things in the very beginning. Oh. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh, she's gonna start crying again. I had to fill it. Yeah. I had to fill it with other with other activities and other things. And so that's when we really started traveling and and you know I got to spread my wings in a different in a new and different way after after they left home and and um, I still cry. I still cry when I take him to the airport. Right? It's, oh, wow. it's crazy. Yeah, I'm so getting ready to, to go off. College so. in August, so. And happy yeah. hours. Like my husband and I would start going to happy hour. <laughs> Just the two of us for happy hour versus the five of us for dinner. Yeah. Like, oh man, we can go out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Because you could have like five dollar little tapas and two for one drinks, like all this right. stuff. But when you've got the five of you, right? Even just a casual sit down dinner, right? Is you know a hundred bucks. But anyway, so we discovered happy hours, and now we do happy hour at home. Um, it's my favorite <laughs> thing, and so yeah, you find new habits and new things to to fill the gap of things you couldn't do when when they were home. This is true. I don't know. We got. Start planning. I know what she's going to be. She's only like an hour and 45 away. Or well, she will be in uh, August the 29th, an hour and 45 minutes away. And uh, so they have a big football program, program, the Florida Gators. So we're going to be going. We're getting season tickets. We're going to probably be out there every weekend. Yeah. I know. I was heartbroken when my kids said, you know, they weren't moving down the street. They were moving, you know, across the country. Oh, and we wow. couldn't get any further away, right? from Denver wow. than Florida in the United oh, States. And I it know, takes all day to get there, but um, yeah, FaceTime. We do a lot of FaceTime. Yeah, mm -hmm. awesome. yeah so now we got some, some, you know, some tips. <laughs> I was, you know, one of the questions that I had when I listened to you, you were talking about the fact that you had three kids and being a speaker and author and a media public <laughs> publicity um, specialist trying to figure out how were you able to continue to make this impact without feeling like your family was being overlooked because I know that could be like you know some moms may experience like you said the mom guilt because we're called to do things but we feel like oh my gosh if I step into this I'm gonna miss that recital I'm gonna miss that that uh, Taekwondo belt promotion because oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I know I struggle with that a lot. <laughs> and, the nice thing, yeah. the nice thing about publicity and and media is, is I say it's a faucet. Right, you right. can turn it up when you need a little more. Right, okay. when you need some more exposure, when you've got a little more free time, you're promoting something you're doing. You're promoting a brand new book. You're promoting a new program. You're promoting. You're doing a specific marketing campaign. But at any time, you can turn that faucet down. Right? Like we can say no to that media interview. Right? We don't have to put out a press release. We don't have to put out a media pitch. And you can schedule it around your family. A lot of media interviews can be done early in the morning. You know, and so before the kids, you know, before the whole day, right? Get out those media interviews. And in fact, in a 30 minute interview, you can impact hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands. Whereas most of us as entrepreneurs, are, are building our business one-to-one. -one. There's a lot of networking, coffee meetings, you know, one-on-one -on -one sales calls, one-on-one -on -one get to know you calls. We're building it all one-to-one, -one, which is so time consuming. But imagine if you could create the exposure impacting a larger audience, a fresh new audience, right? Where you have the trust and the elevation of brand and the differentiation of competition and you leverage that into a sales funnel where now you're doing a presentation instead of one-to-one -one sales calls, 
you're doing a webinar, you're doing a group call, you're doing um, you know, a workshop, and you're selling one to many, you can scale that. So you're not ha- hustling around town, right, to do a two-hour networking event. You're not spending all this time talking to the same people over and over again saying, hey, buy from me now. How about now? You're attracting more ideal leads into your funnel and you get to manage your time. Um, you get to control that faucet a whole lot better than if you were having to build build your business one to one. So you're actually going to free up a whole lot of time and you're going to replace it with items that take a whole lot less time that have even more impact. So that makes basically work smart. Exactly, I like that. So, and I, I pray that those uh, people that are listening, either live or via the replay, and don't forget to type replay in the in the the chat box if you're watching the replay. And but, also share what city and state that you're <laughs> you're in. Okay, it's just a, a reminder that you can still. I know how they say you can't have it all, but you can. You just have to schedule it to see what works best for your family. You can schedule your family time, your business time. And I like what you said that, you know, instead of marketing one to one, you can do it one to many. And that's something. So for that entrepreneur, that couple out there that's, you know, interested in media, they're interested in business, they're interested in uh, becoming speakers or authors or entrepreneurs. There are avenues in which you can get your business out there and still have the benefit of quality family, family time. And that's really, really important because that's one of those um, we talked about. um, We did a a presentation recently on entrepreneurs and and how they were. Uh, not experiencing uh, revenues in their business. They want to add extra zeros to their bank account, but sometimes they allow things like fear to cause them not to step out on things where you can actually just use wisdom. And like you said, schedule that time. Um, do one to many instead of one on one, you know, and make sure you're pitching to your target audience. So you brought out a, a lot of key points. So I hope that everyone out there is listening, that you are taking lots of notes. And if you missed anything, make sure you catch the replay because this is so oh, phenomenal. Yes. So because a lot of times you have people out there that are wanting to get involved in media, but they're reluctant. And this is an awesome tool, some wisdom that will help that's going to remove that that excuse so you know it's time to step out on faith we need to continue to create some more of these marketplace apostles (laughs) yes yes so tell us more about like the your perfect client my perfect client well okay you guys are like an ideal client right you've got a book out you've got a message and you have a platform And so how do we take that even larger, like working smarter and scaling? Even if you don't have your book out yet, you don't have your message perfectly dialed in, and you're still building up that platform, we teach you how to position yourself to be that content expert. Get that book out into the, the marketplace. If you have your book, if it hasn't become a bestseller, you haven't leveraged that to get booked on, on, um, you know, to be a guest and be interviewed, we can create that. One of the things that we emphasize is the power of, of course, publicity and leveraging a press release. So when you create a press release for your business, it is an announcement. It is the language of media that you can send directly out and put it in front of journalists, TV hosts, podcasters. It'll start to create those media logos that you're looking for. It creates that stop the scroll content when people see like an ABC feature or an NBC feature picked up your story. It's a way that you can create search engine optimization and Google food for your business. I mean, it, it, it's a game changer. It's an incredible document that most small business owners aren't leveraging. So if you've got news, if you're doing something, you know, that's a current event, we can create a press release um, to put that story, to put that story out into, into the world. So when you put your book out, when it became a bestseller, when you were a guest on somebody's stage, when you had somebody fabulous on your show, all of that is current event and can be converted into a press release that we can send out and put in front of, in front of those media outlets and the, give you that media opportunity. And most small business owners, when I ask them if they're leveraging press releases, I mean, when you think about any big announcement, you know, major corporation announced in a press release, this celebrity announced in a press release. Like, this is the language of media and most small business owners never use one. 
um, ever. And so at least quarterly, yeah, minimum quarterly and ideally once a month, creating that PR story and creating that publicity so you don't become the world's best kept secret because that is the last place I want you to be. Oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> I got a wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, now, so what, what kind of platforms do you use to get the word out? All of them. Oh, okay. All of them. Right? We want you to be so visible that you can't be ignored, right? We, wow. right, don't, like, we don't pick and choose. Like, you can, like I said, it's a faucet. So, okay. we leverage every media opportunity that we can. When you get so big and so, like, you can get a little pickier, right? We can turn it back and, and <laughs> we can get a little pickier. But in the beginning, we want to elevate your brand, get people to say, I've heard of you, right? Create that familiarity. I mean, the reason why you see people that that show the ABC logos, like as featured on, right? As seen yeah. on, yeah. is because those, those brands are familiar and our yeah. brand isn't yet. But when we put our brand next to something familiar, the right. audience, the consumer, elevates their trust, that familiarity, and you you shorten your sales cycle by 60%, 60% because you're attracting clients. They're pretty much a sure thing, right? You yeah. um, you don't have all these, you know, you're not chasing after, you're actually attracting more perfect leads into your sales funnel. So, you know, you kind of eliminate, even though it feels like, okay, I'm not gonna be able to handle the influx, you're actually, only getting buyers versus all the all the noise all the noise yeah I like wow, that. stop facing start attracting that's that's really powerful I like yes. that. we're definitely going to be a subscriber <laughs> <laughs> Good, this is powerful so what is one resource that you feel that and i'm saying women because you know for people in media that they shouldn't be without today I would say that, that well, let's see, yeah. a, a press release for sure. You should be putting out regular, you know, press releases regularly. We just, we just launched an, a program called Press Release a Month where we automate your press releases to go out every single month because I know that small business owners are missing out. Like they've got all these great things that they're doing and they're forgetting. They're just not telling the media. They're not creating the publicity. They're posting on social media, which is great for their friends, but I want you to get in front of a fresh new audience. I want you to create the exposure. So a press release and in a book, right? So if you've got a microphone in one hand, a book in the other, and a press release out to the media, you're golden. Wow. Yeah. So it sounds like we need to do that with uh, struggling to keep the vibe. <laughs> wow. I mean, this, this is some serious wisdom that's being dropped on here. So I hope all of the listeners that you're taking notes and how can our listeners get in contact with you? Because I'm sure for that business owner out there is like, yes, I need the press release. Well, I can benefit from her services. How can they contact you? Is there a website or, or something where they can get in contact with you? Absolutely. So a couple of things. I, of course, want you to make your big impact. So my website is makeyourbigimpact.com. You can download a complimentary media guide that's going to give you media contacts, a full year of attention grabbing headlines, and how you can transform your media exposure in 10 days. So we turn it around. We want you to get results instantly. So makeyourbigimpact.com, download our complimentary media guide. If you wanna connect with me personally, I have a website, it's angeltussy360.com, angeltussy360.com. You can text me, you can um, get on my calendar, you can follow me on social media, everything on that one site, angeltussy360.com. Wow, that is phenomenal. So what is next for Angel Tussy? Because you've do you're doing it all, I mean, the books, um, the media strategy, a publicist strategy. What is next for you? Well, it's so funny. I turned into a complete mole during this pandemic. I haven't <laughs> left my house in months and I'm not traveling. I had been traveling. It was over, over 70 events that I host, spoke on last year, over 100 events the year before. So I've been actively out on the road traveling. 
and I've just 180 degree, I've turned into a mole. I haven't left my house. I haven't left this chair, <laughs> but um, I did start, I did start with my, with, um, with one of my pals, Tina Torres. Her and I started doing a morning show where we just go live on Facebook, unscripted, to be that, that voice of optimism and hope during, during this pandemic. And we've just been picked up in syndication to be streaming on, you know, all the digital streaming channels. So who knows like where that's gonna, what doors and what, where that's gonna open. I'm working with some pretty, um, um, some, some pretty influential folks in the world that are coming. Um, I was able to reach out to my mentor, my Oprah, Sharon Lecter, last year and say, I would love to see your brand elevated. I would love to see you in the media even more than what is happening now. And so I've been brought in as part of her marketing team to help her to elevate. So there's been some pretty incredible doors have opened for a, for a girl who shouldn't have graduated from high school because she couldn't speak in public. Um, it's it not too shabby for a little girl like me. Now, now that's phenomenal. Yeah. That's phenomenal. There's a lot of power in that connection. Yeah. And yeah. just think about the fact that you just, it's something that you started with Tina Torres. You started the morning show and look what it's involved to, into. So I know we I just had Les Brown was on our show. Oh, and wow. the guy was, you know, he's the world's greatest motivator. And he, I mean, he was so, I mean, he's so charming. He's so charming. I love, I love at home Les. Right, because he's like sitting in his room and just having these great conversations. He's, wow. you can see, he doesn't have stress. He's just light. He's laughing. Uh, we've had Manny Lopez. We've had Sharon Lecter. Um, some top CEOs have been guests on the show. For wow. Riley, and yeah, it's opened up. It's opened up a lot of doors. And and but media, media has a chance. Uh, it just it attracts it attracts some pretty high level people. So you want to make sure that your brand is aligned with media contacts. Um, if you think I wish more people have heard of me or I want to impact hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands, you can't do that without the backing of media exposure behind you. So all of our, our watching viewers, you see, here's the website. Make sure you get in contact with the angel 2C360 Tessie360.com. <laughs> AngelTussie360.com. Go there now and get contact with her. She's the one that get that's going to really show you the power of connections and media. Yeah, how you can you really utilize media to make an impact. And also, she has a website. Make your big impact. You know, make sure you visit that website because there's so many people when we when we bring them on this show. They are dropping nuggets of wisdom when you want to take your business to the to next level, how to balance marriage and business, how to balance media and business. So these are just some phenomenal tools and some amazing people to be connected with. So make sure you take advantage of the information. Go to her website, makeyourbigimpact.com or angelatussie360.com. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. That's going to be one of the best investments of your time. Now, do you have any free giveaways or? <laughs> or, or anything that you want, um, anyone that they can connect to you on, um, get on your uh, subscription list. Yes. Yeah, so we do have that complimentary media guide that they get at makeyourbigimpact.com. I am hosting a free workshop on uh, in two days, right on Thursday. I should have given you the, the link for that. Um, mm -hmm. But it's how to write a press release on how to put together a professional press release. I walk you through step by step and give you the resources to get it out into into in front of media. Um, but we, if you reach out to me, makeyourbigimpact.com, there's a way that you can plug into my Facebook group um, through that complimentary media guide. That'll take you right through the trails, right? To get you into that free workshop, how to write a press release. Uh -huh. All right, guys. It's a, a huge opportunity, so make sure you take advantage of it. This has been phenomenal. I mean, when you're thinking about just everything that you've accomplished, the facts that you've, you know, like many entrepreneurs, you've been through those those patterns where, you know, maybe someone may have said, oh, you can't do this, and then you've proved them wrong. So to me, that's just a source of encouragement to entrepreneurs out there that they're going to be people that may question what you're doing, or they may say things, but don't allow that to deter you. Don't allow that to distract you 
you know, don't allow that to prevent you from being all and doing all that God has for you to do. So this angel, she's her, her testimony is, hey, it's just speaking volumes to me. And I'm sure any entrepreneur that's out there that's listening feels the same way. So I just want you to be encouraged to keep going. Remember, you're going to miss 100% of the shots you don't take. But remember, taking that one shot is going to get you another step closer to where you want to be. So that is, that's amazing. Yeah. Do you have any, um, any, uh, any tips or strategies um, really to share with couples or individuals who want to really take their business to the next level? I mean, just that one you know, strategy. Uh, of course, I know you said that the number one thing is a press release. <laughs> but is there anything else that you would like to share to our, our, our viewers? Well, for couples, right? Or, you know, people yeah. who have to work together. You know, I think that it's that you're always like the yin and yang, right? Like you, you have a strength and it complements, right? What her strength is and what your strength is. Hope, you know, they complement each other. And so I always think like the thing that draws us together originally that we think is so charming and so cute, right? Because it's so different than us. It is the same thing that just drives us insane and drives us nuts later. So it's just reminding ourselves like that is a strength that I need in my life. I, I, I you know, I think there was a, there was a phase in our marriage where we were going through a very, very challenging time. But I knew it didn't matter how good of a mommy I was. Like I could be an amazing mom, but no matter what, I, I could never be a good dad, right? right? They needed they needed a dad in their life. They needed a father figure. They needed the yin to my yang, right? I'm you know I'm I'm super structured and and you know and he's a lot more free. Like there's just the the compliments to each other. So just I'll recognize recognize their strengths. Write down what those strengths are and sometimes like remind yourself of how important and grateful you are for that strength. And then in my fortune cookie, I just, we had Chinese food delivered the other day and it said the secret to happiness is a bad memory. Oh, wow. And I laughed out loud because, you know, sometimes just forgetting those little, the little things that just can really add up. Like don't focus on those little things. You, you get what you go looking for, right? You get what you order and you find what you focus on. So if you focus on the good, you'll see the good. If you focus on the bad, like that's all you're going to see. So, so focus on their strengths and their gifts and business partner, friends, husbands, wives, children, all of that. This is our safe place. This is our sanctuary. The world is going to fight them, right? And bring enough. If like, let's be each other's safe place and sanctuary right here. Yes. Well, I tell you, this has been a really special treat to have you on. I mean, you have really opened up some windows for all of our viewers out there. This is really awesome. Now, I know we have a we, we have a lot of um, couples out there that go into business together mm -hmm. and they're looking for ways to take their business to the next level, how to break out and expand their territory, expand their demographics. And um, this is just an awesome way. And now they have all the tools um, uh, if, yeah, and strategies, really, um, and to connect with someone who can actually take them there. So remember, I'm going to also uh, flash on the screen how they can connect to you. Um, is at the bottom of the screen. Make your bigimpact.com. Also, www.angel2. It, 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 it rhymes with fussy, so remember. Okay. <laughs> also, um, for all of our viewers, we, we really um, appreciate your support. We also have a free gift for you as well. Um, you can also go and get your phone and text WIN, W-I-N, to the phone number 407-258-1246. And that's 407 258 1246. And you can get a free copy of our audiobook, Marriage Can Win. Wow. This is all right. So before we close out, can you just share with us one quick strategy on how married couples can make an impact using the media? Oh, how can how can married couples make yes. it using the media? Um, so it's your story, 
right? Stories are sticky. That's what the media is looking for. They're looking for human interest stories. They're looking, um, they're looking for people that are making an impact in the world. So what is your story? So I always have my clients go through kind of a three-step process to help unveil their story. Why you, why now, and what's the big idea? Or what's your big impact? So craft your story. Like, why would I interview you over everybody else I could be interviewing? Tell me some, you know, a couple of juicy nuggets, right? What have you overcome? What was your breakthrough? What makes you a unicorn, right? Why now is what what's trending, right? What's the, you know, happening in the world that this is a sense of urgency? And then if everybody started following you, if everybody heard your story, if everybody, like if you were featured on Good Morning America, what would that impact be? for you for people to start following you and following what you talk about tell that story to the media that's what we want to hear hmm. okay so the three steps are why you why now and what's the big idea is that correct, correct? yes all right i think that is amazing yes it is so you have anything you want to share with the, the our viewers before we go? Well, first of all, we just want to thank all of you all for tuning in. Thank you so much for your support week after week, day after day. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We appreciate all the comments, the questions, um, sharing your information. It's definitely a blessing. Uh, thank you so much to Angel Tessie for her time, her nuggets of wisdom um, to, for our our viewers yes. thank <laughs> yes. you for gracing our show we appreciate it we definitely do yeah. we enjoy this time this is really some great wisdom great nuggets and i'm sure our viewers can really appreciate it i have so many nuggets of wisdom i'm gonna have to type them all up and just add them into the comments <laughs> <laughs> because i didn't want to miss a moment so i had to kind of scrub you know write everything down but we've learned so much tonight we thought uh, we learned the, the three keys, the why you, the why now, what's the big idea. We talked about recognizing your strength of your spouse. We talked about developing the marketplace apostles and much, much more. And the importance of a press release. So I just want to encourage each and every yes. one of you that are watching this either live or via the replay. Make sure you connect with her. We have her websites available for you. Take advantage. She has a two day um, an event coming up in two days. That's, that will help you inform in terms of formulating your press release, which is definitely a blessing. For our small business owners, you know, that this is, could be the information that you have been looking for to help take your business to the next level. Yeah. Um, Angel, thank you again so much. Safe travels to your son. And just, just make sure that we stay connected. Let us know how we can continue to support because you're doing some amazing things in media. Thank you. Thank you. You are too. <laughs> Thank you. And to all our broadcasts, remember, you can always catch us uh, every Tuesday night on yes. the Love Radio Network. We go live at 9 o'clock p.m. every Tuesday. And then you can always catch us here on Facebook and also on YouTube at the Marriage Can Win Show. And so to everyone, remember, you could be the change that you want to see in your relationship. And it starts with you. Until next time. Bye. Bye.